Hello, 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 Facebook. This is your girl, Robin Shockley. I'm going to try to get through this live um, talking. I'm hoarse. I've been talking for the last several hours and such, but I, I've got something I wanted to share tonight about my experience while I'm traveling on the road with Focus Forward Robin on the go. There has been some um, crazy, crazy things that's happened. Some good, some not so good, but they were growth opportunities to understand um, how, t how far I've come and how far I know I've got to go as well. And um, a reflection. So sometimes we have to take ourselves in check and, and to understand um, why things happen the way that they happen. And so, um, Anyway, I just wanted to um, come on here and I wanted to share this. One of the things that I've gotten from this trip while I've been traveling, I was in, for those that don't know or haven't been following me, I, I was in Southern Pines, North Carolina, doing the red carpet for a fashion show, a spring fashion show. I was hired to come up here, you know, to work the fashion show, to showcase businesses and to promote them and to, to help build um, other businesses and individuals uh, for what they're doing um, and their passion and their field. So um, what I got from that was something very important. It was a, a word that I just received and it just come up at literally up in my spirit and it's unexplained situations teach growth habits for future generation, excuse me, for future expectations. So I'm gonna say that again. Unexplained situations will teach growth habits for future expectations. And what that means is that things that happen that we can't even explain, these situations that come about, and I'm going to share about those in just a second, you know, they can teach us these growth habits to move forward and to, and to handle them in the appropriate way and for our future expectations. And it can build excitement in us because we can say, wow, we've come far. Well, we, we didn't handle that the way we should have, but we're going to grow in this and we can become better. So one of the things that I got from this trip was is patience. And I'm so, honestly, I will say I'm very proud of myself because I am not a patient person or I never thought that, you know, I was a patient person. But um, with the situation, um, when I arrived at my destination, um, it was so, it was great and I was excited to be there and such. But I ended up staying somewhere I didn't stay before or I wasn't familiar with staying at this type of place. And, and it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was a great, it was a great location. It was the days in. There's nothing wrong with the days in. But I had a situation and um, I was a little, you know, nervous about it, but it all worked out. And I knew that, you know, through this, I was not going to complain. I was not going to be negative. I had then made my mind up, you know, because I'm a new woman. You know, I'm not who I was even a year ago or six months ago. You know, my attitude has totally shifted over the years. But, you know, because I continued through situations, these unexplained situations to use them as growth opportunities, you know, for future expectations. And so, um, anyway, so I, you know, the lady that I was working with, which was Miss Cynthia, she, bless her heart, she was so precious and she was so worried that, you know, she wanted to make sure everything went just right for me and I was doing everything, you know, the way that, you know, I wanted. And I told her, I said, girl, it is cool. Everything is good. And it was, there was nothing wrong. I was very pleased where I stayed. It was wonderful. It was just an unfamiliar um, territory for me. And I'm just going to be transparent with you. Um, I don't stay usually at, at hotels that have like outdoors <laughs> and I, that's just something, you know, normally that I don't do. And so, um, but this was a challenge for me. So it taught me patience and to deal with the situation that was at hand and make the best of it because I could have stayed somewhere else. That was not an issue, but because I thought I was getting a great, great deal to stay there, at a great price, that was the reason why I went ahead, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. And and so, but, you know, we did have a little situation with something and I had to change rooms, which was okay. And I didn't get frustrated about it. I, at first I got a little nervous, but then it was okay. So that was just teaching me something. It was teaching me how to have patience and to understand that, you know, things don't always go exactly the way that we want them to go, but we gotta make the best of the situation that's at hand. And so through that, I was very calm. And I told told them it was all good, it all worked out, and so um, that was that was that was great for me. So, well, today I get up 
and I, you know, I'd sleep in a little bit, and then I decided I wanted to get some coffee. I was so hungry, and as you guys saw, that I went to Cracker Barrel, and I ended up having to wait, and they told me it was going to be like a short amount of time, but of course, they were so packed at this Cracker Barrel, so busy, so therefore, I ended up um, having to wait not just 15 minutes, I ended up waiting like 45, 50 minutes, okay? I, it was started out, I thought it was like 40, but it would end up being like 45 or 50 minutes. And then I sat down to get my food, and I was there another long period of time. So it was like I was there for a really long time for just one person to eat by herself at the Cracker Barrel. Then I get my food. I was so hungry. My food was good because I was so hungry, but it did not come out exactly like, you know, I had expected. Like my pancakes were a little crunchy. I've never had crunchy pancakes, but honey, those things were so good because I was so hungry and I didn't even focus on it. I was choosing not to be negative because while I was there at the Cracker Barrel and I was very impatient, I mean, I was very patient from learning from my previous experience that just took place. I said, okay, God's going to teach me something through this so I'm like okay I'm gonna be patient here while I'm waiting at the Cracker Barrel so I was listening to church so I was I was occupied I was listening to my relentless church while I was waiting in line at the cr uh, Cracker Barrel watching church online and listening and um so but I was being very observant while I was at the restaurant and I was looking around and I noticed that you know they were busy they were really running around and even the manager was having to clean all tables and he was working in the back and and you know what i got from that was i was getting understanding i was being understanding to the situation that was presented to me i could have been very negative i could have complained i could have griped about things i could have said i had to wait forever I didn't and matter of fact the waitress come over there and she was so sweet and so apologetic and and precious and and, and she said I'm gonna get my manager over here because you should you've already had to wait forever to even sit down and then now you're having to wait to get your food and she said I'm so sorry and I said girl it's okay it's fine and so she went and got her manager anyway when I told her not to but anyway he come over there and he said I was actually coming over here because I noticed you've been sitting here a while so he actually noticed that I was sitting there and, um, and he apologized and he covered my meal, which was great. I tried to get him not to, but I thought that was really nice that he, he chose to do that. So I still left a tip for the waitress because it wasn't her fault. They were just so backed up. But what I got from that was because, you know, because I had learned about patience, Therefore, it gave me an understanding while I was being calm and being patient and observant to the atmosphere that I was in. I didn't get angry and I didn't get frustrated, you know, because uh, or demanding because I didn't have my meal. Because I know when we go out to eat and we want our food just right, we don't want we want things microwavable or we want to do the drive through scene and we don't have to. Um, we don't want to have to wait on, on things. And so, and sometimes it's okay, you know, to say something, um, you know, to let people know, to hold them accountable. But in this situation, because I had patience, it gave me an understanding as well. And so I had learned those two things, okay, within two days. And so this evening, while I was at the spring fashion show, Actually, I was so excited. You know, I finally got there. I was able to change my clothes. I was able to get my, my Focus Forward Robin banner and everything up. And I was actually so proud of myself because I really worked really hard to try to learn how to get that put up and everything. And I had a few people come and help me, which was great. But um, I was showcasing different businesses. I was letting people talk about their business and, you know, really building them up and promoting them because that's why I was hired to come there was to help build the businesses and, and showcase them. So, but one of the ladies that was there, it was, it, it was kind of, it was kind of different because, um, I'm, I learned through this third step. Okay. First I learned about patience and then I learned about understanding. And then the third thing I learned on this trip, right before I left, I learned about celebration.
I learned that, you know, we are to celebrate people. There's not enough celebration going on. And I always say that I am not in this thing to compete. I'm here to complete. So, yes, I, I go out. I showcase businesses. I advertise them on my, my, my TV show in Georgia, you know, the uh, Focus Forward Robin show at the Regina Sunshine Global Network. I showcase people for that, for their pit to purpose stories. And I know a lot of people does television, a lot of people do media, a lot of people do red carpet. There's a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of competition. And you know, I had this one lady that was there tonight and I showcased everybody that wanted to be showcased and even pulled in some other people to be showcased, you know, that didn't even expect to, to, to be there to do this. And um, one lady actually rejected it. And it was okay that she rejected, but her reason for rejecting didn't make sense to me because instead of rejecting and saying, I'm busy or whatever, I'm going to pass because I got to go here, I got to do this or whatever, her rejection was, and her explanation was, I do what you do. So I said, but honey, that's okay because I'm here to promote you. I want to build you up. Because that's what it's all about. And I'm not into it to compete with you. I'm in to complete you. So if I can do my part to help build you up and your brand, I don't even live in the state, you know. But if I'm here to help, I, my purpose is to help you. And so she just turned it down, which was okay, and that was fine. But it just, it, it showed me to understand about celebration, about how we are to celebrate life or celebrate people and what their accomplishments are. And some of these ladies that actually were on the videos, um, this was their first time actually even being promoted. They were so pumped up and they were so encouraged that and nervous. Some of them were even nervous because they said they'd never done anything like this before. But it made them feel confident. It gave them a sense of assurance to know that, hey, if I could go on there and talk on this live video publicly about my business, then hey, what else can I do? You know, so it gave them a confidence and it by me celebrating them. So the three things that I learned on this trip was to have patience, understanding, and to celebrate. And I am so thankful for Cynthia and Ivy to bring me up to North Carolina from Greenville, South Carolina to help showcase their dream and their vision with fashion, you know, to um, live on a budget, but yet you can still be fashionable about it and look good with it. And to showcase all these other businesses and how everybody was just working together and I love that and because the my attitude and the way that I chose to behave through this whole entire weekend at the end I made so many connections I have a guy that's wanting me to do some work with him in media. I have a couple of people that are having their own event and they want me to come do red carpet for them in North Carolina. I made so many different connections with different people and you know that's what it's all about. It's all about helping one another and understanding other people's situations and to have that patient attitude that everything will work out in the end if you stay on the path you stay focused and you keep moving while you're moving you're growing and so this message tonight is just a shout out just to say that guys if you're struggling with having an attitude and you need an adjustment take my life as a situation because everybody knows I've been through hell. <laughs> I'm just going to be real. I've been through a thing or two. And you know what? I choose not to live in a pity state. I choose to pick my feet up and to grow forward. And I just want to say I thank God tonight because you know what? I could have let the things that had been spoken over me saying I would never make it on my own. I would never be anything. Nobody's going to ever want me. You know, and all this. And now I've got people that are actually love me 
I've got friends that are in my life that care about me. I have my tribe. I have business um, uh, people that are making connections with me. And it's all about building each other up celebrating one another but having patience to wait on it for the due season and due time so let me just encourage you guys tonight that are tuning in it looks like I've got tons of people that have been signing on but just just to be encouraged that you know when you, you you're, you're going through something and you get frustrated or aggravated with that waitress and or that restaurant that's taking a little bit long or you're staying at a hotel and you gotta switch things up a little bit you know just go with it go with the flow and and not get so angry and bitter because life is too short to live with stress I remember my ex-brother-in-law told me one time he said Robin he said you need to calm down you're gonna end up having a heart attack because I was so stressed out about something. And it was a situation that I couldn't even change. I just was like so bent over backwards. Life is too short to worry about things all the time. Go with the flow. Grow forward. Focus forward. Live life to your best. So anyway, guys, I've got to get back on the road. I'm in Wadesboro, North Carolina here at the Golden Arches. I had to come in for one last stop before I go on this new journey starting tomorrow with my girlfriends um, and get me a cheeseburger and some french fries and some sweet tea. So this is actually my last meal until I actually switch over. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. But I hope everybody has a great evening. Y'all say prayers for me. I've got about another, I guess maybe two and a half, I don't know, two and a half hour drive or such, but you guys have a blessed night. I love my supporters. I love my followers. I love your feedback, and I appreciate it. And Eric, I know you're going to be praying for me because you, you always let me know that, but um, guys, I just, I'm thankful for you, and I just wanted to just come on here and share a little bit of piece of my journey of, of my road trips that I go on. I guess my road trip chronicles, car chronicles, whatever you want to call them, focus forward chronicles of stories of um, how God is just opening up my eyes and just showing me a new way of living. I am so much at peace. And my goal is, is to help you, those out there that are struggling with having that peace and frustration and bitter and having an attitude. I am so far from perfect, but I am willing to grow forward. I'm willing to learn from my mistakes and to keep going and not give up. There's so much to life. I, I shared a video yesterday about how people need to get outside, enjoy life, enjoy the atmosphere. You know, there's people that need you. You know, what you gonna do with your life? There's people out here that need you, and you're sitting here wallowing in your own pity about, you know, what didn't go right in your life, and your your marriage broke up, or your family broke up, or you lost a job, or you're, you're in pain and chronic pain and stuff. That's horrible, and I hate it because I can testify. I've been through all that. I've been through chronic pain. I've went through a separation of my family. I've went through a separation with my marriage. You know, I've lost friends. I've, I've lost lost jobs before. I've, there's so many different things that I can now testify that, you know, God's brought me through it. So if God can bring me through it, even in my own mess, he can help bring you through it. So I'm going to start off. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. I'm just sending out little encouragements while I get on the road. Y'all pray for me. I love y'all very much. And um, this is Robin Shockley with Focus Forward Robin on the go. You never know where I'm going to go, where I'm going to end up. And remember, as I always say, if you think a thing, you believe a thing. If you believe a thing, you will achieve it just like I'm doing. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye.